Hey everybody, <clears throat> pardon me, good morning. How are you guys doing? It is Wednesday and I am here today with the part two of the jewelry box unboxing from Rose. We started yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to get this going this morning. I know it's super early, but I knew like I would not have time later. <laughs> I'm supposed to go out with my mom later in like an hour. So I was like, let's do this now because then it's not easy when the kids are home. <laughs> so here I am, bright and early. Okay, let me say hey in the chat, and then we'll jump right into it. Hey, Daka Doodle Doo. Hello, Hyper Picker. Hi, Nick. How are you? Hi, Kristen's Curiosities. And Ads. Hey, Ads. Hello, Misty. Okay, so you know, I know you guys can relate. You know when you go in the morning to put on your makeup and it's all looking good because you're in your little makeup mirror that's like this big, like the world is this big, right? And then you like step back and you go outside and then you look in your like rear view mirror and you're like, whoa, right? Like who put on all this makeup this morning? So now I'm looking at myself with this, this light and I'm like, whoa, look at all this. Look, look at these lips, right? Okay, anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm just noticing like, wow, you really did a number on yourself this morning, Margaret. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> like a little girl. Like, I don't know how to do makeup. So I'm like a little girl, like in there playing with her mom's makeup. Hey, this looks good. Hey, let's try this. Yeah. If you've seen any of my beauty box unboxings, it's it's very obvious that I don't have a very strong background in makeup application. Anyway. Okay. Let me say hey some more in the chat and we'll jump into this, uh, into this box of jewelry. Yeah. Uh, hi, Treasure Pirate. Lunchtime for you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's right. Because it's what? Mm, two o'clock there? Two o'clock? One o'clock? No, two o'clock. Uh, hi, Diane. Super Sunshine Thrifter Monica. Hello, Miriam. Good morning from Chicago. Yes. Hi, Carol's Gift Shop and KMV, Vin, KM Vintage Treasures. Hello. A lot of UK resellers there. Hi, Randy Holdway. Oh, hey, it's Kathy, not Randy. Okay. Hello, Hyper Picker. You get more of the UK crowd at this time. Hi, two dogs, three cats, four kids, saltwater, Fisher, and <laughs> Nick says, yeah, I get that when I do my makeup. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Um, yeah. Good morning, Grace. So, yeah, lots of makeup on. Anyway, that's not why we're here. <laughs> that's how I feel. Like, <laughs> like so much makeup. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Slow down, Margaret. All right, so Rose was so nice to send me this box of jewelry to unbox and you know she was like you can sell it or keep it or do giveaways whatever um but it's so fun right let me show you the box this is the box and it's still super heavy so the last she actually sent a box before and it took us two videos to unbox it and this one might take a third video because it is still really heavy i'm gonna weigh it next time because it's i wonder if it says on the i'm gonna look on the on the tag you know not the tag but the thing where it says how heavy stuff is, 16 pounds when I got it, 16 pounds, 15.4 ounces, so almost 17 pounds. Not even joking, guys. It's a heavy. So, yay, thank you so much, Rose, again. I hope you're here, or I hope you pop in in a minute. Uh, Mary Jo says, certified beauty advisor here. Anytime you come to Maryland, bring your makeup and I'll teach you. So my mom doesn't really wear makeup, and I never, I, I am a child of the 80s, so like I learned 80s style, like blue, and that was when like the colored eyeliner was a big thing, and colored like mascara, so like purple mascara, blue eyeshadow, and then it went from that to, goth wasn't, a, there wasn't goth back then, but I went from that to like alternative punk, so then it was just like black, you know, and red lipstick, so it was the extreme, like white powder, black, red, but yeah, like I said, goth wasn't. There may have been goths, but they weren't called that back then. It was just like, who are you free? <laughs> you know, basically, back then. Anyway, <laughs> Karen says, just rolled out of bed in California making coffee now. Gosh, it's like 6 a.m. there, right? All right, Shelly, hello. Hey, Elaine McMurray. That's my sister in the chat. And you're, you're going to have to tell me, Elaine, because you texted me and said which jewelry pieces you wanted from yesterday's. And I was like, which wooden necklace? She's like, the wooden one is mine and such and such is mine. And I was like, okay. But I don't know which is which wooden. There was a couple of them. So you'll have to tell me later. Hi, fam. Oh, it's Jessica. Hello from Rio Grande Valley. Hello. And Kristen says, I need makeup lessons. If I do it myself, I look like a clown. Exactly how I feel, right? There was more eyeliner. We are going to unbox this, I swear, but this is fun. 
Okay, okay, one more sip. I have my Espresso Patronum mug this morning, channeling my inner Harry Potter. Hello, Patty and Waco. Hello, hello. How are the peaches looking this year? You have lots of, Waco's really good for their peaches, yeah? Mm. <laughs> Treasure Pirate says, hey, Elaine, you're utterly hilarious in your sister's vids. I'm telling you guys what, she needs her channel. I, when I go out there at the end of the month, we're going to work on it. You know, we got to get her a tripod and just set her up because I can't, I'm just like, how did you not record firefighters cutting a ring off your finger yesterday you, or the day before? Like, seriously, we'll learn. We'll learn her good, y'all. We'll learn that girl good on how to make YouTube videos and what's going to work and what people are going to want to see. They're going to want to see it all, honey. They're going to want to see every last bit of it. If you if you got stung on your hand, this is me talking to my sister. Now, if you got stung on your hand and you got a bee sting that has swelled your hand up so big that your fingers are purple and blue, uh, girl, you need to get that camera rolling because that is YouTube gold. You want to get on Ellen, right? Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Elaine, never mind. I was going to say, if you're there, I'll send you the link. You can jump in and talk to me, but then we'll get nothing done. We haven't even started yet. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Did Elaine and I ever do the merch video? We have not yet. She's been in, she had a bit of a crisis with the uh, bee sting, so we'll get on it. We'll get on it. <laughs> she's, she's fine. She's got all her digits. She's good. Okay, so first up, we're seriously, we're going to start now. <laughs> um, First up, I really like this pink. It's got all these pink beads on it and I'm pretty sure they're yeah they're plastic but they're they're nice they're not like cheapy feeling plastic they're really nice so there's this cool one <laughs> Elaine says I was in the zone but I'm better thanks <laughs> I get I get it she was it was like crisis like oh my god I'm gonna lose my finger um yeah there's a point when you get past that and you say roll them <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to exploit your your finger for <laughs> I don't know what. Everybody wants to see that. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got some stretchy plastic bead bracelets. Very cool. Yeah, she's okay. She's okay. <laughs> They're all saying, "I'm glad you're okay." Yes, we will we were we are going to do the merch video. We've got to figure out a time when it's good. Oh, this looks cool. Okay. Now I'm getting now I'm getting in the zone. Get off of there, you. I want to see what this necklace is. This has got some cool, like, little medallions, but they're, it's kind of tangled up. Oh, I should have untangled this for you guys, but I didn't. Okay, it's just all coming over here into the lap where it belongs, right? Okay, we're going to have to just show it as it's tangled, I suppose. And I'll untangle it later because it's really tangled on there. But I wanted to see this necklace. Okay, so here's this necklace. It's gold tone. Let's see what that brand is real quick. It is Capri. Is that what that says? Hang on. It's tiny. I think that, yeah, it says Capri. And then look at these medallions. Oh, come on, you. Hang on. Let me get this off here. There we go. Oh, I got it. Good job, Margaret. <laughs> For real. So it's got these medallions. Look at this. Let's take a look at the little medallions that are hanging. So it's all hanging from this one jump ring. And it's got different lengths. So this one looks like, is that a dragon? Oh, it looks like a dragon. Okay, there's that one. Or is it supposed to be an eagle? Let's call it a dragon. And then on the back, there is a pharaoh, looks like of some sort. Maybe that is, I think that's Cleopatra. Okay, because can you see, it looks like a snake right there. Maybe that's Cleopatra. Ooh, this is very cool. And then this one's just got like a medallion look to it. He says, still haven't gotten the Harry Potter, uh, Harry, Potter, Harry Potter loot box yet. Okay, here's another one with the one I'm going to call her Cleopatra. And there with the dragon. Or is it a sphinx? No, it looks like a dragon to me. Or a phoenix rising from the flames. Maybe it's a phoenix. Because there are flames down there. It's either a dragon or a phoenix. If you're an Egyptologist, let me know which one goes better with Cleopatra. Then two more medallion type ones, and then this one has something different on it. This one has, looks like a water serpent or trident, or uh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, with the 
with the in the water, the god of the water and the big with the trident and what's his name? Oh my gosh. Help me, help me in the chat. It, it's driving me crazy because we all know him. The god, the main god of the water. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. I can see him in my brain. Okay, anyway. Super cool. They'll let me know in the chat. Tr Trident is the thing he's holding. But his name has left the building. Poseidon. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. I was gonna go bananas. Thank you, Shelly and Kara. I, I was gonna, yeah, lose the. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here we have another necklace, and this is kind of cool. I'm trying to figure out what these are made of. So they are these brown discs, and then some of them have. Look, there's these little metal ones here. These ones are individually little bitty discs. I was a little mermaid there. Oh, cool. Okay, so, and then it's got this closure like so. This is kind of cool. So what are these big ones? Are they wood? Are they metal? I can't tell. They're not metal. It's really cold to the touch, though. And then it's got a little metal disc in between each one. This is pretty cool. I know there's some, like, green. There's a word for that. Very something. Um, but anyway, that's pretty cool. Okay, next. We've got this one. Yeah, in The Little Mermaid, his name was Triton. Oh, 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 okay. But that's the thing he's holding, right? Okay. Doesn't Poseidon have another name, too? I think he's got another name. Ah, okay. Here we go. Pardon me. So now we've got this silver tone necklace very cool hello maggie doodle hi kim nope we just started we were chit chatting for a while so look we've only done this much that's it <laughs> my nose is itching okay all righty now i'm detangling what's in my lap here or i'm attempting to so neptune maybe that yeah neptune there we go i was like because there's greek and then there's roman greek okay anyway i'll just leave it I'm woefully <laughs> uneducated on my mythology. Um, all right, so here we've got, looks like those, uh, maybe I chose the wrong day because I can't think of words this morning. I want that, it's way cool. This, which one? Which one are you talking about? Or this one? This one looks more like you. This one with the brown one. <laughs> Does he just hold Trident or is that gum? <laughs> All right, Elaine, if this is the one you're talking about, I think I'm going to put it over here because that one looks like you. Okay, then there's this one with the little flowery beads. Very cool. <laughs> Poseidon's nickname is Earthshaker. I thought that was Dad's nickname from when he lets him rip. <laughs> That's what I'll, I'll like. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm, I'm trying here, guys. <laughs> Good morning, Kunzi Coons. I look. I've even gotten this tangled up into them. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'll just show them all tangled, because I'll just sit here and try to detangle them and all. Just keep embarrassing myself. Okay, so this one's got these little beads all in it. Very cool. And then, apologies. There's a silver tone one in there. Yes, the brown one. Cool, cool, Elaine. Yeah, I thought that looked kind of like you. And then there's that one with the fishing cord. That's the one that's causing all the trouble here. The fishing cord one is tangling up with everything. And then there's this one with a pink flat square disc. Very nice. And then very simple, minimalist, open rectangle. Okay, so those are going in there. And then, yeah, it's, they seem to be, the ones with that are like on fishing line really like to cause trouble. They get all tangled up with everything. These are fun. They sound good. <laughs> AKA granddad's rug cutter. <laughs> Elaine says we're, we're ribbing our dad about his. It could be called a curse or it could be called a. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. All right. So then we've got this stretchy beaded bracelet. The, 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 uh, the stretch, the elastic is really uh, shot in there. But those are some cool looking beads. And then. We have a faux pearl necklace here. Very cool. 
So there is that. But that would be fun for a little dress up. And I have, you know, I've been starting lots. And I have like a, a tub that I'm putting all of my like pearly stuff and rhinestone stuff in. So if I, you know, if it's not good enough to sell individually, I'll, I'm going to make like a little princess night diamonds and pearls lot or something like that. So, and then here we've got one of these with the line and the beads on them. Very cool. <laughs> yes. oh, I'm still laughing at my sister. This one sounds good. I like the sound of this one. Are we gonna do? Are we gonna whisper this one? If you were here yesterday, we were talking about the ASMR. This one's cool. It's really long. It is one necklace. There's the closure for it. It doesn't really need a closure though, does it? Because look how long it is. So it's got white and it's got clear. Do, 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 do. Just listen to that again for a minute. Okay, that's cool. And next up, we have. Oops, something fell. What was it? Oh, it was a disc. Hang on. This goes onto that Cleopatra one. Elaine says you look a lot more peppy today. Glad you're feeling better. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, today's today's a better day. All right, so it looks like this one is broken, but it still has some cool beads, the blue and the white. So those will go into a bead lot. They sound good too. Can you hear? There's different sounds to different plastic beads, you know. Some are a little more high-pitched and clinky, which I like. Then we have a little stretchy bracelet. That's cute. All right. <laughs> Moving forward, we have, all right, next up. Here we go. Here we go, you. How are you, de why are you tangled up in here? This is not making sense. That you would tangle with that. Okay, so we've got some bangles. I like bangles. <laughs> is Elaine feeling better from the stings? Yes, she is. She's good. Oh, this is cute. I like this. The beads are losing. They're like sticky, weird feeling. But I like this charm on it with this crown. And then the closure has got that kind of closure on it. So I almost like just want to take this charm off because these beads feel really grody. But it's cool. I like it. Ta-da! And then we've got a couple like this. I think these are anklets, right? They're, this is the perfect time for this, like beachy anklet. Wet, you know, people are going to the beach. Very cool with these shells and what is it? Flowers and butterflies. Okay. Next. Next, next, next. Um. Uh, did I find any prayer beads or rosaries? Those are always good finds. Not yet. Not in this box yet. But you know I like to find those too. And I never sell them. I just like hoard them. I don't know why. But I do. I have a lot of them. I do. Okay, so we've got this big old shell. This is a good one for right now too. I, kinda, I mean, you could see a girl like on the beach or at, on the, you know, on the cruise ship. She's wearing her bathing suit wrap, you know, and she's got her fancy looks like a mermaid right this is cool that blue yeah that's nice I like it <laughs> Elaine says I'm almost back to normal a bit puffy okay then we've got another stretchy one with the purpley beads and this is a wooden necklace that's nice so it's got these wooden or they're seeds one or the other they might be seeds like some kind of seed anyway and it has a barrel closure it looks like it'd be one that would sit like right at the base of your neck because it's small <laughs> like like yes my sister <laughs> okay and then oh i've had one of these kind of uh, necklaces before and these are like little apple seeds or something right i looked them up and now i can't remember what they were we had a discussion about them in the jewelry lovers group if you're not in the jewelry lovers and sellers group on facebook go join us there because we had a discussion about these. People find them and like, what is this? There's some kind of seed. Apple seed. Okay, now we've got a ribbon. Is it a necklace? Is it a... Good morning, Kara. <clears throat> oh, supposed to be super hot today. Got any Texas cooling tips? Are you in Texas? Stay inside. <laughs> um, no. Yeah, stay hydrated or stay inside. I can't figure this out. Maybe this? Maybe it goes like that. 
It's a little, it's got a little stretch to it. That's interesting, that's cool. Okay, good morning, Tiff Strips. How are you? We have 51 viewers. I know it's super early, so go over there and hit that thumbs up. Oh, we got a thumbs down. Shame, shame, I know your name. Not really, I don't care. Whatever. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, I love poppies. I love things that have like the red and black poppies on them. Um, and so this kind of reminds me of that, like a poppy. And it's all these little seed beads making these flowers. I know they may not be poppies, but it reminds me of poppies. And then there's this that hangs. Is it tied? How does that work? It is tied. I really like this. I think I'm going to keep this. <laughs> I think I'm keeping this one. That's very cool. Isn't it? I think. So there. I don't know if I want to wear it right now, though. Oh, oh gosh. I'm going to mess up my hair. There we go. Okay. All right. Good morning, Felicia. All right. So this is going back over here. Yay. And this is, uh, I've learned what these are. So this that has these little buttonholes are for sometimes shirts or, or jackets or something will have these little buttons that you can hang these. So it's like a necklace that comes with the, the shirt. So that's what that is. Certainly somebody is looking for them because I have a few. I'm like, what am I going to do? All right. And then we've got a pink stretchy bracelet here. This one's kind of fun. I don't see a lot of orange stuff. So I like that. So this is an orange shell, I think, like dyed shell bead bracelet. And it's got a good stretch to it still. So this will probably go by itself. Because, yeah, I, don't, I mean, really, you don't see a whole lot of orange stuff. Somebody is certainly looking for orange. Oh, and this looks like I'm going to work. Okay, we ready? So this is my, okay, I'm going to my business office job. I'm a very sophisticated business lady. Sorry if I'm clinking my mic. <laughs> this is kind of cool, though. It looks like couture, right? Like, I got this at the Chanel store on the high street or whatever it's called. I forgot. <laughs> Right? It would look good with my business suit and make me look like a grown-up lady. I always wonder, like, you know, you see these people that are, like, so put together. And there's nothing wrong with that, but I just wonder, like, are you really? I mean, just come on. We're all still kids inside. You know we are. Like, why pretend? Like, no, no, no. I am grown-up. I am a grown-up lady. Like, you are not. You're a kid inside pretending and dressing up in your mommy's clothes because she was pretending too. <laughs> anyway, that's how I feel. But maybe it's just me and I'm immature and other people really are grown up and I'm just not. <laughs> and that's okay. I haven't made it yet. I haven't made it to grown up yet. Thank goodness. Copy. Copy time. Okay. <laughs> okay, then we have these. These are kind of cool. It looks like the, the coating is coming off of those, but still, I like that gold bronzy color coppery bronzy next i've decided never to grow up maggie says yeah i'm like what's the fun in that like i am so grown up i need to go to my board meeting and powder my nose i mean there's nothing wrong with saying powder your nose but if you say it like that then <laughs> anyway, i don't know <laughs> no 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 why i don't i really i think it's a secret like there is no growing up <laughs> Elaine says, okay, Texas tips for hot weather attire. Big hat, just a cold hat, cold beer, and run through the garden sprinkler with your hat, of course. Or if you're in a hurry, splash yourself with water and hang your head out of the truck going 70. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Another couple bracelets here. This one's got some different beads on it. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, he says, I bet you could write a great children's book. To my sister, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing because, yeah. All right, and this looks like an anklet, or maybe it's a bracelet. Maybe that would be a bracelet, too. There. Cool, cool. Moving forward. <clears throat> and then, this is kind of a cool one. This has a native look to it. So it's got this shell, and then these beads that are woven onto it, and then it ties on. That's really cool, huh? Yeah, it's like totally native looking, right? You have to be careful when listing stuff like that, though, because it's, you know, you'd have to name the tribe and all of this stuff, but I don't think it's, yeah. Anyway, so that's cool. I think somebody would really like that, like a choker and, <clears throat> yeah, cool, 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 cool. I think this is a belt. Hang on. 
fishing wire. These fishing wire <laughs> necklaces get they cause so much trouble. They tangle up with everything. It's cool though. It's cool. Thank you. But so what we're gonna have to do. There we go. I got one loose. Yay. Okay, here we go. So here is a necklace. What are you? What are you? I see a tag. I'm trying to read it. I think it says casual corner. Casual corner. That is a store that used to be that is no longer. So it's pearly and gold tone. Business lady in her touch of heels going to work. <laughs> I've got a business meeting and I have a, a SMR report to turn in today. It's super important. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to make your um, lunch date today down at the uh, Chipotle burrito place. I don't know. <laughs> but could you just bring me back a Cobb salad, please? <laughs> all right. This, I think, is a belt. <laughs> right? Because that's what all the business ladies eat, right? Cobb salad. <laughs> I'd like a Cobb salad, please. No dressing or cheese. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like that. Okay. I'll put that to the side to you for you, Jolene. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's taking her orders in the, in the chat. Put that to the side for me, hon. Put that to the side. All right. We got a belt there. That's cool. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I know. There was another necklace. Where did it go? Did it fall? Nope. Maybe not. I don't know. Okay, no, it's on there. It's still on there. <laughs> dressing on the side. Yeah, dressing on the side, of course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> There's that. Cobb salad from Chipotle. Well, I know they don't have Cobb salads there, or do they? I don't know. <laughs> Kristen's curiosity is what's a Cobb salad. <laughs> Elaine says business ladies still fart like everyone else. Oh, no, they don't. If it happens, it is a toot or a, um, what would they call it? What else would they call it? A toot or a uh, something else. I don't know. Um, a cob, really? I don't know. Okay, so a cob salad is like a salad. And then they like line up stuff on the top. Like there's a, la a line full of, of tomatoes and then a line of cheese and a line of bacon bits. And then there's like a line of, what is it? Uh, the, the egg, the boiled egg. Yeah. No, no. Those business ladies would go to the bathroom and hide their shame in the stalls to take care of that. And that's probably why they walk like that, like with their, their cheeks pinched, because they're like in their cha-cha heels, like trying to rush to the bathroom to let it go. Like, tick, 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 right? They're not, they don't really have a business meeting to get to. They're really like rushing to the bathroom because they've got to let one rip and they don't want to have to explain it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly Shelly says business ladies okay so Elaine was saying business ladies still fart like everyone else and Shelly says oh yes they do and I sit on an exercise ball so it echoes <laughs> like at your desk then you are not like the those cha-cha business ladies because they would never sit on an exercise ball at their desk or would they <laughs> we call bread rolls cobs Kristen says <laughs> I need to go get an exercise ball so I can hear this echo that you speak of. Not that I ever fart, of course. I only to toot. I'm trying to detangle these and they're not coming. Okay, so we have a cord. I'm giving up. Well, not a cord, but a chain, like a silver tone chain. And then we have another silver tone chain. And of course, the culprit. Always the fishing wire, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah. P says, I used to be a business lady and wasn't allowed to wear pants, just skirts, and had to wear jackets. Uh, yeah. And when I first started teaching, my, my first principal was a business lady. So she always, you know, had the skirt and the hose, of course, the hose, and then, you know, like the business suit with the skirt, right? And we had to wear hose. If we wore skirts, I wear skirts all the time, and I hate hose because it's like a bazillion degrees in Texas. Who wants to wear some pantyhose? First of all, Let's just knock out the word panty and just not say that word anymore. Okay, let's just move it on. <laughs> Suits every day and panty. Pantyhose. Right, everybody has those words that are just like the worst words ever. And mine is like panty. I can't stand that word. Anyway, drop your word in the, in the chat. 
let me know what your word is <laughs> or later in the <laughs> can you watch through this later in the comment section let me know what word you just can't stand <laughs> anyway all right oh my gosh <laughs> Shelly says, I used to manage a casino and I had my full suit and heels and I would go to the beer cooler to let it rip. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, okay. Next up, I have a feeling we'd have fun over a few beers, Shelly. <laughs> you, me, my sister. A nice cool Budweiser. Okay, oh, moist, Kim says. Oh. <laughs> Yes, that's another one. Moist. All right, so we have this glittery square bracelet. That's kind of cool, though. I haven't seen anything quite like that. That's neat. I'm holding your earring. Let me help put it up here. <laughs> well, that's true, Elaine. She says, frozen farts, were they suspended in the air? That would be so awesome. What happens, like, in space? We need an astronaut stat to find out, like, because things don't, you know, there's, like, zero gravity. What if you have to? I mean, you know they have to pass gas in space. What happens? I'm finding, I'm in, I'm in Houston. I'm going to find an astronaut, and we're going to get an answer to this question. Or I could just Google it, because I'm sure I'm not the first person to wonder what happens when you fart in space. I'll get my own NOVA program before this show is out. Mark my words. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're watching this later, after it's not live anymore, there really are people I'm talking to, and it's not all in my head. Or is it? Anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm laughing at what they're saying. Okay. <laughs> hey, Lydia, Purple Lily. Sis, read further up the line. Oh, gosh. What did I miss? Oh, pr post it again, because I missed something, I think. Da-da-da. I'm looking back. Oh, Elaine says, I've heard them business ladies rip loud ones in the bathroom probably have to pack extra skirts from blowing off the seams from holding it in so long. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah, sister. <laughs> All right, so next we've got this little rhinestone necklace. This is super cute. Very cute there. It's dainty and, like, really feminine. <clears throat> yep, yep. I don't really like the word fart either. Like now that we're talking about words that we don't really like, astronauts probably bring back frozen farts in their suits and call it moon rocks. <laughs> Maggie says Google farts in space. Very interesting. <laughs> oh, I'm in Houston. We can get some astronauts. I bet we could get some astronauts on to get all these questions answered. I like this. Look, it's green and black. Code word Slytherin, right? Slytherin's green and black, right? It's green and, or is it green and silver? Whatever. Green and silver, I think. But still, right? I think this might be, yeah, this is an anklet. That's cool. Maybe I'm going to keep that. We'll see. For our, when we go to the beach. All right, stretchy bead bracelets. Very cool. How are we doing on time? We are definitely going to have to have a third video for this. There's no way that I'm going to be able to finish it. This one's cool, too. It's got a nice, like, pinky sound. That's a shirt. Pizza sparks in space. <laughs> I'll, give that, I'll give that one to you. <laughs> okay, this is cool. This is cool. So we have a cord necklace. But what I'm going to do is I can save this for when I get like a cool pendant that doesn't have a, a cord. So there's that. That gets to go for a, like this one. I wonder if this went on it. There is a big pearl. See, like, I am a grown-up lady. I'm wearing a giant pearl. Right, there we go. Thrifting board thread is beach items right now, Shelly says. Oh, cool. Thrifting board. And then this one is a really cool bead with all these different orange and red big rhinestones on it. That's kind of cool, though. Like, what did it go to? Does it matter? It's so awesome. Right? I love it. I love it. Okay, I love it. I'm going to put it over there. <laughs> you know, it's the little things. All right, another stretchy bracelet there. I'm saving this for the, for the last. So this might be in the third video. There are things that are in bags that I'm saving up for, for the last video. And then let's see. What is this? 
Okay, you are stuck in there. Let me take you off. Oh, I hope the mate for you is there because you are pretty. Okay, I'm going to stick the... Oh, what does it say? Yeah, I'm going to put this one here because there's a, an, an earring here that is really art deco, and I'm hoping that the mate is there. Hi, Chelsea. We've got another stretchy bracelet here, and this is cute. Here we have a little gold tone bracelet with this... Looks like an eye, or like this way, it's sort of like 60s looking. I'm wondering if this is Avon because I saw another Avon bit there. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It is magnetic. Let me see if I see any little marks on it. Here it goes. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button if you're here and you're waiting. We have 18 thumbs up and 57 viewers. Maybe they can't hit the thumbs up because they're listening from across the room. I don't see any names on it, but it's cute. Like, it's a cute little dainty feminine bracelet. I like that. That's cute. Okay, next. I'm pulling it out. Fishing wire. See? And, of course, what do we have? Tangles. So there we go. One of these fishing wire type necklaces, like so. And, hang on. I'll put those down. This one is confusing me. Okay, so clasp is there, and then there's a hanging off part, and then Elaine says, pearl pendant is really big and gaudy, but it'd be cool on a key ring. Oh, that's true. Look how crafty you are. She's so crafty. Here is another beachy type bracelet, or necklace rather. There was a bracelet like this one. And then another one of these that goes on the, the shirt. It has the buttonholes that you would buttonhole onto your shirt. You have 25 thumbs up, Elaine says. Yay! Thanks, everybody. 26 now. My sister's going to get you if you don't give me a thumbs up. There's, there's another one of these. Okay, so I'm wondering, like, because there's a bracelet that matches this, if I would lot them up together. Would you, would I, I don't know. Okay, then we have these. There's a purple and black stretchy one cute cutesy cutesy all right Ooh. hang on come on don't fall don't fall these look like that sea glass i mean i don't think they are they're plastic but they're they look like that right look how cool that is <gasps> that's cool it's like translucent and they're all these shades of blue and green so i don't know if it's coming or oh yeah it is okay they're like light blue and green isn't that cute? It really is. But yeah, I don't wear stuff like that, but it's really cute. Would I wear it? No, I wouldn't wear it. But anyway, <laughs> I like it. I like those colors. And you don't see stuff like that a lot, right? I don't. And then we have another shell necklace. <laughs> yep, Purple Lily, uh, Lydia, she's doing okay. She's got all her fingers. She got all those fingers. Okay, here we have Crystal Door. And it is a necklace and earrings. And they are, they're kind of like orangey red. They're not quite red red. And they're not quite orange. That's very unusual and pretty. Cool. I like it. Oh, Maggie says, I love sea glass jewelry. We find a lot of it here in the Jersey Shore. Yeah, we don't, we don't find that here. We're on the Gulf Coast. We find jellyfish, seaweed, and oil blobs. <laughs> Those little black oil blobs. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> when you look out at the horizon off the Gulf Coast, you know where we are, you can see, like, the horizon is covered with oil rigs. <laughs> yeah, keep it. I'm not going to wear it. Why would I keep it, Elaine? Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, Nancy says, hey, how are you doing today? The other day, my hubby and I, one of our favorite places to source, I found a nice surprise, a Harry Potter tie. So cool. I hope you bought it if it wasn't too expensive because, yeah, Harry Potter. All right, here we've got a shell. I think this is an anklet as well because it's awfully big. So I think this would wrap around your your ankle and make you look like you're a beach bum or a surfer girl. Okay, so we're gonna save the bags for the, for the last. Ooh, I love this green. Okay, so this is a really pretty pearly green necklace. That's pretty. I love green, oh yeah, that's pretty. 
So this is like, almost, yeah, anyway, I don't know. I really like that color, but I would not wear it. I wonder if I can put it, no. If I can make it, no, no, it's too long for me to make like a head headdress out of it. <laughs> but I like it. I like that color a lot. Okay, we've got another bag that's going to the side and another bag that's going to the side. Bags go last. Ooh. This is cool. This reminds me kind of, the, of that thing that you got, Elaine, with the beads, all the beads. Okay, so here we go. It's got lots of colorful beads. It's kind of, this, the elastic is, is kind of shot in it, so it's hard to see how it, you know, but it's got a lot of really nice beads. It's really cold to the touch, so not that that means anything, but anyway, it's really pretty. I like that. Like so. <laughs> Nancy says, of course it is. Of course I thought of you. If I, as I find cool stuff, I can't keep it. Yeah, I hear you. There's that. I'm trying to figure out, like, are they, I'm guessing they're plastic beads, but they're really cold to the touch, which is unusual, right? I think. Okay, cool. Very pretty. Next up, we have a bracelet. It's that sort of gunmetal dark gray with this heart. Do we have any maker's marks? Nope. Green is in at the moment. Elaine says, wear some of the jewelry you're showing us. Like now? Wear it now? All right, next we have this faux pearl bead necklace, which I believe to be vintage based on the clasp. Like so. Looks heavy, she says. No, it wasn't very heavy, the bracelet. It was, it was kind of cold to the touch, so I liked that. So that is a cool clasp. I like that a lot. Vintage clasps are fun, and this one has a mark on it, so I'm going to peek at it. Would I want it? No. Yeah, of course. Harry Potter? I'm your girl. Let me know. No, that's not a mark. It's just rubbed off. That's cool, though. I love the, I, I don't know. Vintage clasps are so cool. It's the tone color of the year, Greenify. I need to get caught up. Greenify? I need to get caught up on my... Lingo. <laughs> okay, next. Oh, this is a cool little cheer bracelet. It's got megaphones and cheerleaders and pom poms. Where's the clasp? So there's a clasp for it. And I've seen some bracelets similar to this before. No marking. Very cool. Oh, thank you, Nancy. So there's that one. That's pretty cool. P says if she wears jewelry, it might mess with the microphones. Yeah, Je Jason has told me whenever I, I hold things up like that, it bangs the microphone. And he's like, oh, you're going to stop doing that. I'm like, okay. Arr. All right, so here we have this sort of salmon-y pink beaded necklace and another pink stretchy bracelet. <laughs> Maggie says in the fashion world, I'm so high fashion. <laughs> Compared to me. Okay, so here we have a cord necklace with a little cross on it. And there, I saw a little mark on the back of the cross. So I'm going to peek at that. Hello, Rose. We're unboxing the box some more. This one's going to probably take three videos because there's a lot. Let's see. Okay, I'm peeking at the back of this. The back of this is sterling and there's like a little mark. But it almost looks like it has like a coating on it. So let's see. It is magnetic, but if it does have a coating on it, then that could explain that. Because there's certain, like, I'm learning more about that. Like, certain silvers, they put, like, a coating on it to keep it from tarnishing. Or, um, it does have a little mark. It looks like a, I don't know. I can't make it out. Anyway, it's super cute. And it's got a teeny little bitty crystally rhinestone in there. Oh, I got to do my nails. So, that's really cute. Very dainty. And it's like simple, you know, understated. That's the word. Maggie says, if you are reselling clothes, green and ruffles are in. Ooh, ruffles. <laughs> ruffles. Okay. <laughs> That's a fun word to say. Go on. Say ruffles. All right. So here we have got a eyeglasses. Um, what do they call it? Eyeglasses necklace. Cool. Handcrafted glass beads, it says. Very nice. Maybe those are glass beads then. Those are the cold ones. Maybe they're not plastic after all. 
because they feel like bees. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Moving forward, yeah, we found the other earring. Okay, these ones I might keep. I'm just saying. These are clip-ons. They are marked Avon, but they are awesome. Look, I'm going to keep these. They have this. I'll just hold up one. How about that? This is their clip-on, and there's that diamond shape there, and then it drops down into this shape with this purpley amethyst-looking stone in it. Look how pretty those are. Okay, I'm keeping those. <laughs> the cross is magnetic. It's got a slight pull to it. It's Mark 925, which doesn't necessarily mean anything. But I'm, yeah. Did I do anything special for my birthday? It's not actually till Friday. But I went on my birthday ride along early because I, I needed to cheer up. <laughs> so, so far, there's no plans for the birthday. I'm going to go buy some. I, I need to buy some new clothes. So maybe I'll go look at clothes. I'm so bad about that. Yeah, I just want to keep looking at these earrings because they're awesome. I have the pendant if you would wear it. Yeah, does it match this? I love Art Deco stuff. I really do. That's cool. Okay, those are staying. Oh, yeah. I would put them on now, but my mom fussed at me for that. Might be real amethyst. I doubt it because they're Avon, but never know. Never say never, right? Never say never. That's why they call me Whiskers. I forgot to post that video. If you don't follow me on Texas Gal Treasures uh, on Facebook, go follow me. I'll make sure. My sister on every time, like, the, the I talked about it yesterday, The um, uh, when when Will Ferrell does the Harry Carey thing and he's interviewing Jeff Goldblum as a, <laughs> kills me every time. So funny. Oh, oh, cool, cool. Let's see. Rose says, yes, it does. I think I have another pair of the earrings, too. I'll have to check. Yay! Free birthday burger at Ruby Tuesdays. I don't know if we have... A, there might be a Ruby Tuesdays way on the other side of Pearland. I'll have to see. They're putting in a Starbucks down the street, Elaine. They're from Dad's house. Down Longwood, they're putting in a, a Starbucks down there by that um, Just Breaks place. It's, like, right around the corner. Okay, so we've got a braided bracelet there. Here we've got some more bracelets, some more stretchies. I'm going to have to stop in a minute. Pieces, where do you find all this stuff, Rose? I had somebody else ask me that yesterday, too. Like, where did she get all this? Is it falling off the back of a truck? Shh. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's another clip I really like. There, was, there used to be a comedy show called The State. And there was this, there was these two guys named Barry and Levon, um, and they would they were dressed like all '70s suits, like, and the yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's really funny, funny stuff, funny stuff. Yeah, Salvation Army or Goodwill. Rose says, "Oh, cool." Yes, yeah, some people. I mean, like ours, we find you can find good, not you can find stuff, but some people are saying their their um, Goodwills are not keeping the jewelry anymore. Some of them are selling them off at pawn shops or putting them online to sell. This is cool. I like that. I like that color, that purpley blue, and it's closed by a little button. I'm trying to tell if it's missing a bead. Yeah, it looks like it's missing one little bead there, but that's okay. It's still really cute. I like that. I like it. And then we've got some little bangles, like so. Ta-da! And these ones appear to be, oh, they're screwbacks. Cool. Let me see if I can get this. Well, there's, here we go. They're screw backs like so, and this is what the front looks like. They're these seed bead earrings like that. Goodwill does auctions too. Oh, yeah. Hang on. We need another head of this coffee. Okay, next. We'll do a couple more, and then we'll have to call it for the day. I'm trying to scooch stuff that's in bags because we'll do stuff. Ooh, okay. You come here. You can come over here. Okay, then we've got a green stretchy, like so. I like that color green. That's like, I don't know, I love green. That's, that's like the color green I really like. And another little stretchy with some medallions on it. That's nice, that purple. Cute, cutesy. And a little bangle. Then this necklace, now is it two necklaces or one? Ne oh, it is two necklaces. So here's the first of them. Are those beans? They look like 
think they're beans. I think they're beans. Hang on. Hold the phone. Let's figure out what's going on with this. This is very unusual. I don't even know what kind of beans they are, though. Okay, so this appears to be like a painted bean necklace. Beans, right? Okay. That sounds like high beans. They're beans. What kind of bean is that? This is not any kind of bean we have. This, yeah, I don't even know, but it's cool. Very colorful. Bean necklace. How about this one? Is this one beans too? This is beans too. Look at these beans. Again, and there's a big bean. Hi, Joni. We're looking at beans. White beans and brown beans and painted beans and little beans and white beans. Very cool. I, I, I'm at a loss for what kind of bean this is. Lima, pinto, lima bean. But this is what's throwing me. This is a bit, it looks a bit, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, or else not. Oh, this is a cute little charm. It's like a little clock. Like a little, and there's the wind on the side. It winds up, but not really. Means <laughs> making you smile, yeah. And then there's the back side of it. I'm wondering what it goes to. Is it awesome? Is it in here? I'm digging. Okay, we'll show what? Two more things. Let me find a couple more things. And then we'll have to call it and do the rest on another day. Oh, why? Okay, one of these has got some little threads. But I, I bet I could trim those little threads off and it would be okay. So there's these. And there it's one pair of earrings. They just have two of those dangly bits. But yeah, I bet I could trim those little flyaway bits off and it would still look okay. There's those. And then let's see if we can do a big finish. I'm digging for a, a big finish or something. I don't know. Ooh, okay, this will work. Ooh, I see green. Hang on, I'm digging for the green. Ooh, okay. We've got two. We'll save the green for the last. Okay, next we've got this. Look at this bracelet. Look. So this side is this kind of pink. And this side is this kind of pink. And then it's got these. What is that? Some little ones there, and then this big like cabochon bead wired in like so. I mean, this is also like a mermaid bracelet, I think. Right? Uh, uh, anyway. <laughs> Very cool. There's that one. And then th here's that green I like so much. Look at those green beads. That is cool. Like, would I wear it? Would I I like it though. I like it. I like that green. I like the green and the silver together. I'm going to put it back over here. Okay, we'll take one more look because it's awesome. I like that a lot. Okay, I'm going to put this back over here. It's not generally the style I wear, but I like it enough that maybe I would, yeah, I would wear it. Okay, my pile is growing back here. Okay, so I am going to have to come back and finish the rest in another video because there's still a lot. <laughs> There's still a bunch there, but we did it. We gave it the good, gave it the good fight. But we did spend the good part of the <laughs> video chit chatting about stuff. So, kidney beans. Those spots are where the sprouts start from. Okay, I see. I see. Okay. Uh. Okay. All right. So, thanks so much, you guys, for watching. It. it let's see. We have 60 viewers, 36 thumbs up. Go over there and hit that thumbs up button, and the good jewelry fairies will visit you tonight or tomorrow or sometime in the near future and if it's not the near future then it'll be the distant future but they'll come eventually okay so go hit that thumbs up and the jewelry fairies will come when they want all right <laughs> thanks a lot guys for coming to visit and thanks again rose so much for sending this um jewelry box for us to unbox and we will come back later and and finish it up so thanks so much you guys and i will talk to you later bye